Hey guys, I want to do a quick video, so let's jump right in. So, let's pretend I'm roaming around and I stumble upon this base with open doors. Of course, I'm curious and I'm going to check it out. I'm suspicious, but I want to see what's inside the box. You trigger the trap, door closed behind you, and you get shot in the face with shotgun traps. So I heard my trap go off, I'm gonna check it out. I see that the door is closed, thus the trap has been activated. I get my remote, and I can open the door. The remote can activate and deactivate the trap. So it toggles it. So let's take a look on how we have uh, what we need to build this base. First we need two branches, a blocker, a solar panel, a small battery and an OR switch for the uh, stable power supply and for the trap we need a memory cell, a receiver, a pressure pad, a splitter and two door controllers. Of course to activate it you need the remote, the transmitter and to wire it all of course you need the wiring tool. Of course we also need a base and uh, for this trap we need the very standard uh, 2x1 with a triangle airlock. Uh, it's best to build it the, exactly the way I'm showing because the door will push you in front of the uh, shotgun traps. So let's wire up the base. First we will uh, attach the solar panel to the first branch and that branch goes into the second branch the remainder of uh, this branch goes into the OR switch the output of the OR switch will eventually be our power supply the, the, uh, the other part will go into the battery the overload and the battery will be connected to the blocker the blocker also so goes into the OR switch and the other branch goes into the blocker now be sure to put this on 11 and the other one on 9 and this will cause the system to always give 8 power out of the OR switch really wire up the trap make sure you paired the controllers with the doors like so then we will get our power supply and get that into our splitter then the first out of the splitter goes into our, uh, our uh, receiver this goes up back all the way to the toggle of the memory cell the second out will go to the pressure plate and the pressure plate goes back into the memory cell and it has to be connected with the set input and the last one will go into the power in of the memory cell then 
the normal output will go into the double door and the inverted output of the memory shell will go into the single door. And this is actually everything you have to do to wire up this trap. Now to activate it you have to put the receiver and the remote on the same frequency. Be sure you had set this to 11 and the other one to 9 or you will have uh, some uh, problems with your system. And now it's done. Press the button to activate and step on the press plate to activate the trap. And you can toggle it with the remote. So that's it. So now you can actually dress this whole base up, make it look like a real base that has been left open. And that's it. Catch on people. So thank you for watching. I know it's a short video. Um, don't really have time to do big uh, videos. And I'm not really that good at it. <laughs> um, still, I hope you like this video. Please leave a comment or a like. Or don't if you didn't like it. But please let me know uh, what you think. See ya.